emerging buds of early spring mark the rebirth of the natural world, as all around a collage of colour erupts through the once vapid wood, bringing light and life, as well as some interesting plants for me to discover. This plant, you'll see carpet in the ground at this time of year. This is lesser celandine. It, um, it likes this sort of condition, like damp soil, and it's an edible plant that's slightly toxic. Um, you really want to pick the foliage before it comes into flower, but the real gem about this is in the roots. The tiny bulbils are a good source of starch and taste like potatoes or rice, but they have to be boiled twice in clean water to remove the toxins present in the plant before it's safe to eat. Another spring delicacy I stumbled upon was hairy bittercress, an annual stroke biannual belonging to the brassica family and mentioned in the Anglo-Saxon nine herbs chant, said to have been a treatment for poisoning. Hairy bittercress is so common, you'll probably see it growing in your back garden in the borders and pulled it out as a weed and not even noticed it yet. What you're pulling out is probably in the top 10 of delicious weeds. This little plant here, if you like cress and rocket, you've got to give this a taste. It has a really strong peppery flavour, but just think of cress, turn the volume up to 10, then you're talking hairy bit of cress. One of the commonest and most beneficial weeds to be found in early March are the golden flowering heads of dandelions, a firm favourite later in the season with school children who would blow the tiny seeds into the air and make a wish. It's also said that the seeds left remaining are the years you have left to live. To most people, dandelions are just a lawn weed and a bit of a nuisance, but did you know that if you dig up the roots of dandelions, you can make some fantastic coffee, and this is how you do it. Firstly, find an area free of contaminants, and then dig up as much of the dandelion root as possible. Remove the foliage, but don't discard it, as the foliage is edible. Once you've acquired a suitable quantity, wash the roots thoroughly. Then, dice the roots into small pieces. again and allow to dry. Then spread evenly on a baking tray and place in an oven on gas mark 6 135 degrees Celsius for approximately 30 minutes or until dark brown. Then grind the root in a coffee grinder or pestle and mortar. Once the root is finely ground simply add a small teaspoon to a mug or cup and add boiling water. Finally, strain the powder into another cup and serve. And now for the test. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Rambler's Fair. If you want to find out more about plants, simply subscribe, or alternatively, get yourself a copy of the comic book guide to botany. And I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.